Hello ladies and gentlemen, myself Manish and I welcome you to a new video of Technical Jahaji. It's Sunday and on Sunday we look back at the things that made a lot of buzz into the technology world and what are the new things we are going to see in the coming months. So without wasting time, let's get started with the updates. Quite a few of updates from the mobile industry, you can say from the mobile companies and a lot of promising launches is going to happen from the promising companies. So like I said, the first update, the first update, the first launch which has happened over this week is from the OPPO. The OPPO AK1S has been launched into the India market. And if I talk about the specification of this phone, this phone has a screen display of 6.1 inches. It's coming with your T-down notch. It has a 4000mAh battery. It has been powered by your MediaTek Helio P22 processor, the same processor which we have seen in now lots of phone. It's coming with your 2GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage. If I talk about the Ray camera, the Ray camera is only of a single, which is of your 8 megapixel. And if I talk about the front camera, the front camera is of 5 megapixel. So if I talk about the price of this phone, the price of this phone is around 8490, approximately around 8500 rupees. A too much expensive phone if you consider this price range, because in this price range we have a Realme U1. We have another phone from the Redmi, which is the Redmi Note 7. And we have a Redmi Y2 at the price range of 9999 only. So it's very tough for the consumer to buy this phone. But still if you want to buy it, you can go ahead. But personally, I don't recommend this phone to everyone. So if you're planning to buy this phone, do let me know in the comment below. So the update which has come is from the Redmi. The Redmi Note 7 has got an MIUI update to 10.3.5.0. And in this update, we are going to see the lot of camera changes. We are going to see the lot of updates about your notification panel, about the look and feel. And new features have been added into MIUI. We have already known that this MIUI update will bring the battery optimization into your Redmi Note 7. And moreover, your phone now will be updated to the March Android patch. So detailed video about this I will make in the next week. So stay tuned for my channel for this update about the detailed review and how what kind of update it is, what kind of new things you are getting and how it can improve your Redmi Note 7. So the update which is coming up is from the Motorola. The Motorola Razer 2019 has been leaked or you can say a packaging box has been leaked over the net and over this packaging box we are able to see the lot of things. The first one is actually the phone which you can see in this image plus it's going to come with your Type-C charging point. It has a normal screen protector in the box, a charging cable, a charging port, and that's it. There will be no audio jack in this Moto Razr 2019. So let's just wait for the Moto Razr 2019 to actually launch so that we can know the true specification and the look and feel of this Moto Razr 2019. And do let me know in the comment below whether you are excited about this Motorola Razr 2019, which is actually a foldable phone, the same foldable phone which you have seen in the 2005 and 2006, we are going to see in the 2019. So the next update which is coming up is from the OnePlus. The OnePlus 7 has actually teased a photograph with their phone, and as you can look in the image, they have clicked a picture of the bird. The birds from the far looks very much far, but if you zoom in, the zoom is very much clear and with the help of the zoom, you can actually take a picture, good picture of that bird. It has been leaked or you can say that it has been used in their promos and there's been another leak where which will happen from the OnePlus. The OnePlus actually showed a normal purple grey type of the variant of their OnePlus 7 Pro. With this leak, we can able to know that it will come with the triple wear camera setup on this One Seven Pro. Another leak which have happened is of the price. Now the price of the 6 GB of RAM and the 128 GB of internal storage will cost you around for the 49,000 only for the OnePlus 7 Pro. But if you go for the high variant, it can reach up to 58,000 rupees. So OnePlus year by year after is getting too much expensive. And if the, this price range is actually launched into India, I don't think that there will be many buyers who will be preferring to buy the OnePlus. So then the update which is coming up is from the Google Pixel devices. The Google Pixel 3a box has been actually linked on the Best Buy website. And over this box you are able to see that it's going to come with your Android 9 version. Not too much information actually been linked with this box. And there's another teaser which has been done by the Flipkart that on India on May of 8th 
the same will going to happen for this Pixel 3 a device A. So just let's wait for the 8th of May. We actually be able to know that this device is going to launch in the Google I.O. event. Not too far now, just waiting for May of 8th. So we actually know about the actual date, actual specification of this Google 3A XL devices. So then the update which is coming up is from the Honor. The Honor 20 Pro device has been leaked over the net and too much leaks is happening over for the particular device before the launch but with this leak of the Honor 20 Pro we now able to know that this device is going to come with a punch hole technology the same punch hole technology which we have seen in the Samsung phone the same punch hole technology which we have seen in the Honor devices the same specification is going to come with your Honor 20 Pro and if I talk about the Honor 20 Pro it's going to come with your K980 processor the same flagship processor which we have seen in the Honor View 30 so the under which is coming up is from the Samsung devices, the Samsung J4, the Samsung J4 Plus and the Samsung J6 Plus now start receiving the Android Pie update with the One UI. The same kind of Android Pie and the One UI update which I already shown you for the my Samsung J6 device. The same kind of update we are getting in these all devices. So do let me know in the comments below if you are a user of the Samsung J4 or the Samsung J6 Plus whether you are able to use or whether you are able to get the Android 9 Pie update with the One UI or not. So the last update which is coming up is from the Google. The Google Point project now has been launched and if you are very much fond of the points you can where you just a user or where you can just need to type a word word like air if you type in the word air the air will calculate all the poems around the air and it will show you the number of poems or the number of lines about a poem in this Google Poem Project. Break. A detailed video I will make it in the coming weeks. So that's all for this update of this week in tech news. If you like this update give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share this update with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for such interesting videos. And I'll see you all in the next video.